Hi, in this video I'll be covering how to generate random numbers that add up to a certain amount in Google Sheets. Are you ready to take your data crunching skills to the next level? In this video, we're going to show you how to use the RAND and RAND between functions in the Google Sheets to generate a set of random numbers that add up to a specific value. This is not just some ordinary task. This could be a game changer for some of you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to generate multiple sets of random numbers that add up to any value you want. And you'll be able to do it with lightning speed and precision. So are you ready to impress your coworkers, friends, and family? Eh, well, let's get started. Check it out. Here, I'm gonna start with my first example. Let's uh, give it a title here, target. Let's make our target number, let's start easy, 100. And then this is gonna be our list. And in our list, we're gonna have a couple, two separate formulas or two separate functions. First is going to be a ran between function. So this is gonna be ran between, and it's gonna be ran between the number one and then this value. And I'm not gonna put uh, dollar signs in front of it because this is not gonna be copied down anywhere. So it can be a relative cell reference, that's fine. And you can see that there. To make it easier, I will also put a formula text command here so you can see what formula it's doing. So the second formula or second set of formulas is going to be the ran between also. So ran between, I'm going to have it between one and then open parentheses, select my target here, my target cell. And I need to put the dollar signs in front of that because I want it to be an absolute cell reference. I don't want it to go to A2, A3, A4, A5 when I copy it down. That minus the sum. Now let's close this. Google's being nice. Sum and that's gonna be some of the range here. It's gonna start first with C2. Also need a dollar sign here because I'm gonna copy it down. I'm gonna have it C2 to C2. The reason why I don't put the dollar signs in front of the other C2 is when I copy it down, I want the other one to increment to C3, C4, C5. Close parentheses, press enter, and then we have four. Of course, that is not going to be enough to get to 100 and I need to, let's bring it down a couple. Let's bring it all the way down to cell uh, 10. And I'll bring this down too. You can see as I bring it down, the formula increments, as I mentioned before. So now it does equal. See, so these three numbers, they will equal up to 100. Let me get out of there. To refresh this, we can always refresh the browser, or I can just press the delete key. It's going to refresh everything. And you can see it, it increments, and you can have du duplicates there. Now, if you didn't want to have this particular error here, what we can do is we can just wrap it around an error. And if it's an error, it will bring back a, a zero. So I can go back into my formula here and wrap this whole thing in an if error function. So if that results in the error, just bring back zero. Close parentheses, press enter. Now drag it down. And now everything else is, if it's an error, it's zero, right? So everything still adds up to 100. Or if I select everything here, of course, it's always gonna add up to 100. And I can press the delete key and you can see it's going to refresh this. You can see there are some drawbacks to it. Now let's test this. Let's make this some wild number. Let's make it 534 or something like that, right? And you can see it still calculates that out to 534. Of course, there's a drawback here, right? If I refresh this a couple of times, you can see that there are instances where you get repeating numbers. If that is not something that you wanna see, Let's try the second example. Here I'm gonna use the rand function. Let's use the rand function here. Rand, open the parentheses, close parentheses, press enter. It's gonna generate a number between zero and one. Let's say I want 10 numbers and I'm gonna sum these numbers equals sum. So I can visually identify that this is not part of my random generator. Let's just make this all green here. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna have all these numbers as a proportion of that total. So it's gonna equal that divided by that sum. And that needs to be in uh, absolute cell reference, the dollar signs in front of it. So when I copy it down, that stays the same, but A1 becomes A2, A3, A4, press enter. You can see that it's done that there. I forgot to click to accept that Google suggestion, but uh, let's just drag the fill handle down here and we've got our values here. Drag this over here and it's gonna sum it up to one. And this is one or 100%, but we don't want one. We want some number that we want to choose. So I'll have a target number, right? And then my target number, maybe it's going to be 77. Press enter. I'm gonna give this a color gradient too, so it looks, stands out. And all I need to do now is make it where 
this number multiplies by 77 here and make that absolute cell reference, press enter. You can see the autofill took it, uh, that's fine. But for this, I'm gonna move it over there. I don't want this to be that formula above. I want it to be that. Now we have our numbers here that we can use. They all equal They all equal up to 77. If I press delete a couple of times, it will always equal up to 77. But we don't want these uh, decimals. We wanna have it as an integer. So maybe we round it. We do round. And then we don't. We want to round to the zero. And we want to round to the whole number. We do zero. Press enter. That gives us a one. Drag the fill handle down here, and we got our number here. But you can see, you can see it doesn't match. We have 78 over 77. Unfortunately, that's the way rounding works. And if I hit delete a couple of times, or actually once here, I get to 77. So now I can take my numbers, and these would be the 10 numbers that would equal up to my target number. So if I change that to like maybe some weird number, 664, press enter. Still not exact. Go into my empty cell, press delete a couple of times, and then we've got our list of 10 numbers that equal up to there. And if we wanted to make this a little bit easier to visualize, to let us know when we got the correct number, we can do some conditional formatting. Go to format, conditional formatting. If that cell, C11, if it is not equal to that cell here, B14, then make that a red color, All right? Make that a red color. Now let's do bright red, click done, All right? So it's not equal to it. So we know that that's wrong. Press delete a couple times. Oh, that worked, 664. Delete again, 663. Delete again, 664. So now it's just randomly generating these numbers and we have visual cue when we've got the numbers that will equal up to our target number. As you can see, the RAND and RAND between functions in Google Sheets are really useful functions to generate a set of random numbers that add up to a specific value. With this newfound knowledge, you'll be able to generate random numbers with the precision and ease of making your data come alive. Unleash the power of these functions and take Google Sheets to the next level. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? How does a scientist freshen his breath? With experiments.